Well, today was such a lovely day. I've decided to come down to Island Bay um, and do some snorkeling instead of scuba diving um, with this uh, snorkel trail uh, on this marine reserve. Uh, this marine reserve claims to have about roughly about 150 types of different marine life and also has a very good healthy abundance of seaweed and kelp as you'll see in the video shortly. Now here you can see those yellow dots uh, then used to be the marker boys so you can sort of guide yourself around the snorkel trail. I think over time they've just disappeared due to storms but you can still basically work out yourself how to uh, navigate around the snorkel trail. So from the main road just a little short walk um, no major obstacles and before you know it you're at the uh, at the water line lovely day today it was about 22 centigrade um, I don't know what the water temperature was but it was warm enough I was wearing a 7 mil semi dry suit no wind it makes a change couldn't ask for a perfect day so straight away into the snorkel came across a, a banded uh, rasp there's quite a few of them that were swimming around weren't too bothered uh, about me that's the difference when you go um, scuba diving you're breathing all those bubbles it makes a lot of noise underwater and so you're frightened a lot of the uh, marine life me I was just floating on top keeping perfectly still and wasn't too making making too much uh, sudden movements as you can see nice green healthy seaweed. Here you've got your crayfish or rock lobsters if you want to call them. They're just hanging around amongst some thin um, seaweeds but I slightly moved out of the way. I didn't disturb them too much. They weren't very much hidden. Or huddled together in this um, crevice. Of course the marine reserve you can't just pick them up and take them for consumption um, or any shells that you find. You just have to leave everything there and just let them get on with it. And obviously afterwards I've just covered them up uh, with a seaweed. Here we've got uh, a blue mochi. Um, I estimate these size about, well, probably about over two foot. I know things, um, things get magnified underwater, but these will look pretty big. And here you've got your wandering anemone. Quite a few of them hanging around onto some of the sea um, weed and kelp. And there's me just posing. And then some blue mochi, just roughly about four or five of them just hanging around, not again not bothered with me as I was just floating on the top, keeping nice and still. As you can see, a really good abundance of um, seaweed and kelp. Of course, no boats allowed to come in this area, no one's allowed to disturb the, the seaweed. Here we have uh, Pawa, it's a, a Maori name given to uh, three types of New Zealand species of large edible sea snails. Um, as you can see, you can make out the underneath the actual shell, it's a black, they are like black um, snails, um, well sought after because you can make them into different types of uh, paste and quite apparently they are quite tasty, I haven't tried any yet. Um, Lots of people collect these shells and make them into uh, bits of jewellery and stuff like that, like ornaments. Um, you see in the video, once you take the actual snail the underneath of the shell, it leaves this beautiful um, colours. Um, obviously here, I've just shown it for you guys, um, and obviously I'll, I'll put it back, I'm not taking it with me. But this footage doesn't do any justice, it's such a beautiful different colours, really nice. And here we go, again there's a... Uh, banded rasp just hanging around not a care in the world okay this is a, a short video I didn't want it to be a long video um, be honest there was, these are the only marine life I actually saw but I was quite happy I was here oh, well over an hour I could have spent a lot longer okay guys um, what's coming up in my channel um, the plan is when I'm here is to um, next week I'm going snorkeling with um, dolphins that's in the South Island we're going to be visiting Christchurch for a couple of days and on the en route go to Picton and then from there hopefully we'll be doing um, a former Soviet Union uh, wreck which, which used to be a cruise liner hopefully that would be a two-day adventure 
and then hopefully after that I will be going to the Great Barrier Reef and hopefully get to the pool nights as well. Okay guys, you know what to do. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd much appreciate it. Until next time, safe diving.